I have big goals that I want to achieve and I do want to change people's perspective on not just tennis but sport and how they approach sport. Tennis has really helped me and my challenges have, have really helped me become the player I am on court and hopefully will continue making me who I am. My syndrome is it's, it's very rare. It's, um, it's EEC syndrome and it's it's a complicated one because there are many different symptoms. My symptoms are I have three toes on my right foot, four on my left, four fingers on both my hands, and I was born with a cleft palate. You know, you get the staring, you get the questions, you get the sympathy sometimes, and then you get the opposite, and um, you get the hatred. But I, I, I've never really been one to focus too much on what other people think of me or specifically of that because I don't think this defines me and um, I think it's made me who I am but that doesn't necessarily mean it defines me and it's helped me become a better person really and a more mature person for my age because I've obviously gone through experiences that most people you know haven't needed to really. I went to the doctors and the doctors told me I wouldn't be able to play tennis due to whatever disadvantages they thought I had and that was kind of my decision where I was like okay you know what because you've said that I'm now going to go and prove you wrong. Balance is a big thing um, you know when you do have less toes it, it automatically you don't have as much to, to, to to put your weight into. There's obviously a lot more risk of injury, so already in my lifetime I think I've had over 10 surgeries. That's something that I have to kind of deal with in a different way because, uh, you know, I've never really had um, a, an injury that's taken me out that hasn't been connected to my syndrome or the cause of my syndrome, so there's a lot that comes with it. Definitely the, the balance is a big one and um, my body isn't built to become an athlete, let's say, but to me that doesn't mean it can't be. You know, people start cars from scratch, right? A Rolls Royce has started from scratch, so that's, that's how I see it. 26. Wimbledon is a massive objective of mine as a British tennis player from a young age. My, my dad and I used to go pretty much yearly and being on that big court, having so many people shouting your name, anyone would have goosebumps. And first of all, being a Brit on those courts definitely makes a difference. I mean, you can really feel the amount of people just craving your win and craving to see you win that final point. And that obviously spurs you want a lot. And I think that just simply wearing all white and, and the feel of the grass under your shoes is, is pretty phenomenal. Having that pleasure on a week-to-week -week basis, whether it's in Asia, South America, which I absolutely adore, the US, uh, Africa, anywhere, you get to go to these beautiful venues and these beautiful cities and be the centre of attention, which is something that is, it, it's, you don't, you can't really explain that feeling unless you're on the court. And to me, it means the world when you hear people um, chanting your name or, or, or just feeling supported. It's as simple as feeling supported. A massive highlight in my career is playing for my country. Um, I played Junior Fed Cup, uh, didn't lose a set, and the feeling of having the captain um, sat next to me, and, and, and especially when the captain is someone you, you care about, and then playing with a team of people that you genuinely get on well with, and you can tell that they really want this for you as well. So it, that was a big, big thing for me. And then if, if I were to name other moments, I, I suppose, yes, the fact that I've played in, in Wimbledon for multiple years in a row, um, the fact that I'm sat here at the National Tennis Centre and definitely, you know, playing playing in the slams and the juniors so far and, and at the seniors at Wimbledon. As a British tennis player, I want to make a mark on British tennis, but not only British tennis, and uh, sport as a whole. I think that if I can achieve my objectives to play at the top end of the game, it's going to not only push people to pick up a tennis racket but push people to kick a football or you know whatever it is that they feel that they want to do and it doesn't necessarily have to be in sport. All I can can do right now is focus on the, the current and, and go day by day and the process that it takes to therefore achieve um, those goals but I want to play at the top end of tennis, uh, I want to be um, one of the, the big names in the sport for the rest of however long the sport lives really.